Martin, yes, hello. My name is Eugenia, and I am with the Institute of DNA Closure. Yes, all right. So, uh, I am the uh, professional assigned to your file, and um, we are going to talk about your package. So, you chose this package in particular because you want to compare uh, the DNA test results with the uh, measurements of the body to confirm those DNA test results to make sure they are accurate. Yes, okay, all right. So, uh, yes, it was outlined in your waiver. So, uh, let's get started, okay. So, oh, don't speak, please. Don't speak. It, it will ruin the ability to, uh, for me as the tester to accurately uh, take measurements. So, yes, uh, just hold all comments and questions, okay. All right, you know. All right, so let's get started, and we are going to be safe today, so I have some gloves here. Just give me a moment, okay. All right, oh, okay, there we go. And the other, just a moment, got it, okay. So, uh, measurements, yes. So let's start off with the earlobes, so, okay. Uh, yes, I have this here. This, this will be uh, perfect. Okay, not that much. <laughs> okay, so it, you need to come closer. Yes, more, uh, more, more, okay, okay, all right, too close. Back up just a little, just, th no, there, ah, ah, very good. Okay, so let's come in here and see, okay, all right, so if I just put this here and I don't understand why we are doing this right over Zoom, so, okay, I think I got it. Okay, let's see, so. Okay, now I need to do the other lobe. Yes, come come close. Yeah, here we go again. Yeah, oh, there we go. Perfect distance. Okay, all right. So this, this is so annoying. I can't believe we're doing this. This is, okay, let's put this little bit here. Okay, all right, I got it. Okay, so. All right. Uh, let's see, uh, where was I? I don't remember. Uh, uh, where's my mind? I don't know. Uh, it's on a break. Okay. Ah! Eyebrows. <laughs> How could I forget? Let's see here. It's stuck in the glove. Okay. Eyebrows. So, uh, oh, ah! I have this instrument here. This is a very fancy instrument. So, uh, come close. Yes. More. More. Uh, oh, yes. Very good. Very good. You've gotten the hang of this. Oh, very nice eyebrows. Okay. Let's see. Ah, 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 ah. Very good. Okay. All right. So y you are a very good specimen. Yes, I am. Um, scientifically speaking, of course. Okay. This is always getting caught in my glove. Okay. Now, what else do we... Oh, ah, almost forgot the most important thing. So uh, come over. Oh, I need to move you. Oh, this is so very odd. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, so let me look at your eyes here. Okay, yes, very good. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, now can you roll your eyes like this? Roll them around in a circle. Yes. Uh, oh, very nice. Okay, all right. Very good. That's good. That's good enough for the eyes. Okay, let's move you back to where you were. Here we are. Okay, yes. Now, the eyes are very important because it tells me exactly how fast you are capable of running, and that is very excellent. You see, uh, you are very a very fast uh, runner, you know. Uh, I'm sure you know this. So, uh, 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 I, I'm, uh, that's a wonderful thing in a man, so I'm very happy for you. Uh, yes, okay. So let's see here, um, okay. So uh, uh, that about wraps it up for today. So, uh, you know, oh, oh, don't speak, please, don't speak. I, it'll ruin our moment. Ah, 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 yes, our moment, okay. So, yes, I have something for you. I want to write it down. It's a, a little bit of a script here, so just give me one moment. Excellent work today. You made my job easy. Just one more second. Okay, so, all right, so uh, if you could uh, just look at this for, oh, it's backwards, okay. Ah, there it is, okay. If you could just call me, that would be wonderful. Okay, thank you. Wonderful work today, thank you so much, and we'll be in touch. 
All right, okay. Hold on, hold on, Grandpa. I don't want to hear another word from you. No, I'm serious. I really cannot believe I had to find out from Randall that you have decided to sell your German daily, which I practically grew up in, and it has been in our family for generations. And now you want to move to Prague because you did some of those heritage DNA tests and you want to try to live in your ancestral hometown. But this is totally crazy. I, I really don't understand. And why you didn't talk to me about it? Why didn't you take me into consideration? Why? Are you walking away from me? I, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Oh, <laughs> nice try, Grandpa. I recognize that ice cream you used to give me when I was a kid and I was upset. I know that maybe it was really hard to raise me. Randall has always been the calm one and I took after my mother. I, I got her wild mind. Or should I say, your daughter Alison. But for me it was really traumatic to move from Rome to the States when I was eight, after my parents got divorced. I loved my life in Italy, my life in Rome. I, I love my father and I, I really hated moving to USA and speaking ugly English. I, I didn't want the Italian in me to vanish. That's why I never tried to get rid of my Italian accent <laughs> because it's a part of me. It, it, it's part of my heritage and Yes, and it always made me made me think about my father, my Papa Leo. <laughs> um, but I always felt so lucky to have you in my life, Papa Lou. You always been the only one able to handle me, my answer. So please don't leave me. Don't abandon me. I, I don't want to feel abandoned another time in my life like my parents did. Please don't do it.
Randall, I've got a bone to pick with you. Why in the world did you tell Remy? You knew I was going to. And you're, you're spilling the beans is causing me a, a lot of heartache. Don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. I know everyone here thinks I'm crazy as a bed bug, but you know, it's now my time. I've been thinking about other people always. I took, took Remy in when no one else would, raised her like a daughter. And now it's, now it's Martin's time. Now I'm gonna start living for me. You may not realize this, but I grew up thinking I was a German. When I was a kid, I used to go to the movie theater and uh, you know watch those old movie tone newsreels. Uh, the German panzers marching through the Verdun woods and the Americans pushing them back and the audience was cheering and I'm hiding under the seat, scared because I'm afraid people are going to think I'm a German or even a Nazi. Well, now maybe you can understand why I'm so relieved to find out that I'm 98% Czech and 2% Polish. Oh, saw this crazy lady at the Institute of uh, DNA Closure who was measuring my eyebrows and my earlobe and turns out my ears 2% Polish. And uh, at the end of all this, she even slipped me her phone number. I think she was going to measure something else later. I don't know. So anyway, you can uh, imagine how happy I am to find out I'm Czech and to celebrate. I'm going to Czechoslovakia. I'm going to Prague. I'm uh, going to check out my roots. I may even want to live there. Uh, maybe I'll even meet somebody. And to make this all possible, I've, selled, I've sold my deli. And uh, I know it's been in the family, and I know that I've been there forever. And that's just it. I realize I'm not going to live forever, and I'm certainly not going to work forever. This is Martin's time. It's now, it's now a little me, little me time. So, what I want you to do, I want you to call Remy and tell her that I will get in touch with her as soon as I get to Prague. I was Zooming her earlier, but I got angry and left, and when I came back, she was gone and I haven't been able to phone her. And I can't, I can't phone her now because I gotta get to bed. I gotta get up so early. I'm even gonna sleep in my clothes. Make sure I get to the airport on time. So do, do, do this for me. Oh, Randall, Randall. You're frozen. Oh, man. Shysa. working that's good hey I so I took a, um, a car over here um, I just thought that it was better to see Remy in person um, and um, she actually didn't seem that surprised at all to see me um, and she was like carrying a suitcase uh, it was really weird and um, she gave me this letter uh, she just handed this to me and said to read to you. So, um, I, 
I guess I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, Gramps? Okay, um, 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 you keep freezing. <laughs> Can you, okay, okay, you're unfrozen. All right, good. All right, so it's addressed to Papaloo. Uh, here's the card, and let's see. Remy. Oh, okay, I'm gonna read it to you. Are you ready for this? Dear Papaloo, see you in Prague. Love, your favorite chunky monkey, Remy. Uh, Martin, yes, hello there. My name is Eugenia, and I am with the scent... Oh, I need to turn that fan off. Stupid fan. And now I'm going to shut the door. So nothing weird happens. <laughs> 